Let's go to Andy Parati, a Letter News Force investigator. We typically see you doing hard cutting news, but Andy, I, I like to see you having a little bit of fun. Sean, I'm investigating the vibes here. We are live with uh, some handsome <laughs> gentlemen that I just came across. I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Uh, you're from Australia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name's Ray. Ray, hey, everyone. Yeah. I'm Kevin. Kevin. Steve. Steve. Joel. Joel. I know this guy from uh, Front Runners. Yeah. We've been running together for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Years, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you kick my butt. Sometimes I kick your butt. This is this guy's a serious runner. Um, tell me about from the you know when you first moved to Atlanta Gay Pride compared to today what is it what's the difference well I'm born and raised here okay. so I've been here a whole life and I would say the size of it is just grown tremendously yeah well and then the change of the season right it used to be in June all of the times I, I was coming here and then I moved away for 18 years and right it was great to come back because I came I moved from a small city back to Atlanta and the diversity here is off the charts. Right. To give you a little perspective, guys, of where we are, we're in the huge field of Piedmont Park. Way in the distance, there is the stage. Right now, they're setting up for a thing called Shaka Khan. And for all the kids at home, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's this really fun outdoor festival that is usually at different places throughout the city in, in, in spring, summer, and fall. But they're getting ready. I think that started actually at 3 o'clock, and it's a great DJ there that has started this really fun uh, event that's been held throughout the city for a number of years. Um, you have been, what, what number of Pride is this? Are you, is this your no, first this is my This is my first Atlanta Pride in probably 32 years. Okay, so you're from so, Australia. This is clearly an, an international event because yeah. before, um, the last time I was live, I was on the parade route and I ran into people from Cuba, Puerto Rico, Tell me what's the biggest difference in Pride in Australia versus here? Oh, well, look, the diversity is off the charts, just as Kevin was saying. But, I mean, I actually remember coming here when Pride was just the smallest, most niche. You know, we were, we were, we were a population that was still sort of, you know, we were, we were cowering for ourselves yeah. in the streets. And so now to be able to come back here after so many years and just see Atlanta itself and especially this festival just... Bang! Yeah. Completely off the charts. I mean, it's there with Sydney's Mardi Gras. Like, it's a really amazing, yeah. amazing event. I was really hoping you'd say something. The biggest difference is the lack of kangaroos, but I... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> One of the things that I love about this, and you guys actually are in a perfect place for this, is the people watching, right? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, in yeah. a little bit, this yeah. whole field will be filled with nothing but tents, right? I, yeah, 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 yeah. But I just like talking about diversity. I just love seeing the kids. Right. The amount of kids that come to this event uh, now versus back in you know 15 years ago is amazing. Yeah, so this pack, this field was packed yesterday, and it'll be packed again, and, and after everybody leaves the parade. Why is it important for you? Do you think that children come to events like this? I think it's a place of belonging. So when they see this, I mean, you know, this is belonging to them, and they can yeah. see that they're not any different than anyone else. Right. And, you know. This is something I looked forward to every year as a coming out, you know, in my 20s yeah. to come and celebrate my gayness or just feel like I wasn't uh, alone and that there are others just like me. And as you look around, there's the diversity is just amazing. Right. Well, thank you guys. I think I appreciate you guys so much. We're a short distance away from our a &F booth where you can get some free sunglasses. Also around the a booth is where you can get some good beverages. So another reason why to come visit us. We'll send it back to you guys.